We're joined now by the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Good morning, Reverend. Good to see you good, again. A uh, real good morning. Yeah, a real good <laughs> a morning. A different good morning. I remember two months ago we were in Chicago at the Victory Rally and you were bawling. And you said you were thinking of the moment. You were thinking of the martyrs who made the moment possible. It, it was the joy and the journey. Because what I really know today is that people in villages and hamlets in Kenya and in and in Haiti and in the Aborigines, all the people, and, and in Europe, people feel that this is theirs. They didn't think it could quite happen. Would it happen? People became cynical, became afraid, and then the joy of the moment, and then the journey. I mean, to get here, we've gone through some bloody trails of terror to get here. Some good people. Um, I think about his friend, the train of two Jews and the black kids just wiped out. Medgar Evers, you know, Dr. King at 39. Vala Luiz, so we, we pay the price to get here. I discovered on a website this morning there was an interview with a BBC correspondent done in the 1960s in which he was asked about whether an African American could become president, and he said it would happen within 40 years. Well, amazing, you know, 40 is a kind of biblical number, mm -hmm. but really it all begins. President Barack is running the last lap of at least. A 54 year race. The 54 decision, which made racism illegal, was the beginning of the end of that system. And then the 55 boycott and the lawsuits of the 1964, the right to vote in 1965, and then tweaking it, 18 year olds, the right to vote by language voting. So this really is the last lap of a 54 year race.